Theology, first of all, is taught in a number of different contexts. And so I don't think we can treat theology as a kind of monolithic reality. So theology as it's done, you know, Boston College's theology department is not the same thing entirely as the, what it's done at our School of Theology and Ministry, which is, you know, half a mile away, less than that, a quarter mile away. So, you know, theology put to the service of ministerial formation is going to look a little bit different than theology that's not primarily oriented toward ministerial formation. I think the emphases are going to be a little different. Um, the kinds of questions that are raised may not be entirely the same. I, I think uh, the, there are going to be some presuppositions that go with theology in the context of ministry formation. Uh, that aren't going to be the same thing as um, the presuppositions of theology in an advanced research institution. Uh, the different kinds of questions that you're going to raise, you know, they're going to be maybe a little bit more speculative, a little more, you know, technical in, in, in some ways. But the quality of conversation, it seems to me, still ha we have to give a lot more attention to what that's going to look like, which is to say, of course, if we're doing theology in the Catholic tradition, we have to presume fidelity to the great tradition of the church. But we also have to recognize, and this is what I've been trying to develop here, that there's a lot of room for argument about the, that, that great tradition of the church. Uh, that there's a firm center there, but as you get around the peripheries, there's going to be some complexity, some messiness. One of the things that I, I, I was trying to get at with this account of a pastoral magisterium was what I've been playing with is sort of an elastic normativity. In other words, we tend to be too digital in our understanding of church doctrine, right? You're orthodox or you're dissenter, right? And it's, it's one or the other, right? Um, John Sabrino talks about, he, he calls that the, a digital notion of dogma. Which, which robs dogma of its symbolic, its mystagogical, its transformative dimensions. So I certainly believe that theology and a school of theology, particularly a school of theology committed to ministry, needs to be concerned with fidelity to the great tradition. But we want to resist a kind of digital approach to things, which assumes everything reduces to right answer, wrong answer, right answer, wrong answer but recognizes that there's always a great deal of room for exploration and humility before the holy mystery of God. Uh, and that we need to develop, frankly, habits of what I've called elsewhere holy conversation, right? Uh, holy conversation is a habit that has to be learned intentionally in the church and in our schools of theology, because quite frankly, we aren't learning them in political discourse. At all. No, I mean, political discourse is governed by the politics of demonization, which assumes that I have to impute the worst of intentions on you. I have to give the worst possible reading of everything that comes out of your mouth. I want to invoke Thomas Aquinas, who spoke approvingly of Aristotle, who said, no, we need to respect those. Even though we may think they're wrong, these people are wrong, we need to respect them because they, like us, are seeking the truth. So we need to find a way in the classroom and in schools of theology to cultivate habits of holy conversation and careful, careful listening that doesn't move prematurely to the assumption that I've got it worked out, when are you catching up? Um, that habit of conversation in a theology school may be one of the greatest gifts it can offer to the church.